guys, it's Kate from HealthyFashion.com. I'm here today with my friends from FaveHealthyDiets.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and simple side dish. This is my sautéed cabbage. So we're going to get started. I have a little bit of oil heating up. It's just an olive oil, about a tablespoon. And to that I'm going to add some red onion and garlic. And we're just going to go ahead and cook that down until it gets nice and soft and then the sweetness comes out. Give it a stir. We have a nice heavy bottom skillet over about a medium heat. So you want to really get a nice heat underneath that pan when you are sauteing anything. So while we're waiting on that, I'm going to add a pinch of salt. And then we're going to get our cabbage going. Now today I'm going to use two different colors of cabbage. I have a red and I have a green. And you can use whatever cabbage you have on hand. But I really like the contrast of color. It makes for a gorgeous presentation. So we'll start with our red. We're just going to cut it in half. And that's all we're going to use. It's just half. And we're just going to give it a nice, fine top. You just want some pretty ribbons. I'm going to peel off that outer layer. And same thing with the green. So peel off the outer. And I went ahead and washed this up earlier. And this is such a great side dish to serve with just about anything. And it's perfect for the fall. That's the cabbage is in season. Ooh, big one. <laughs> All right. And then with the green one, we're going to go ahead and remove the stem because it's going to be pretty woody. So we'll get that out. And you can save the rest of your cabbage for a coleslaw. You can do a smoothie. Um, you can even juice it. So it's very versatile. You don't have to feel bad about wasting it. So again, making nice little ribbons here. And the key with this dish is really getting a good solid heat under here because you want to cook the cabbage quickly and get it um, all nice and tender without kind of making it mushy. So we're going to get our cabbage in there. Look how pretty that is. And cabbage is so amazing for you. It's got so many vitamins and minerals. Loads of nutrition. So now I'm just going to take my tongs, just give it a toss, and like I said, we're just going to kind of quickly saute it. I want everything to wilt down really nicely. I'm going to crank up the heat a little bit. Give it a toss. And you probably need a bigger pan for this. <laughs> a little over ambitious. But it'll still turn out. Alright, so we're going to let this cook for about five minutes. Just tossing it occasionally. Really getting everything nice and wilted. And, and all the flavors are just going to come out and pop. So, go ahead and let that go. And we'll check back here in a couple more minutes. Alright, so our cabbage has been going for about three minutes, and this is what it's supposed to look like. It's all starting to get wilted down, nice and crisp. You just want to keep tossing it, you know, every few minutes, every 30 seconds, just to keep it moving in the pan. We don't want it to brown, we want it to just get nice and crisp. Put that back in there. It smells amazing for considering it's just some onions and some garlic and some cabbage. Like I said, this is such a simple side dish. You can really serve with anything from chicken to fish. You can do tofu. Um, it'd be amazing. You know, toss some noodles, make a pasta dish. Or even just eat it like this. You can throw some nuts on top, some walnuts, some cashews. All right, so it's been about a minute. This is what our cabbage is going to look like. It's all nice and wilted and starting to get a little bit of color under it. So we're just going to go ahead and finish it off. So I'm going to turn off the heat, hit it with a little bit of Celtic sea salt, and that's got tons of minerals and it's just going to add a whole depth of flavor. Just a drizzle of olive oil, just extra virgin cold pressed. And then finally, a little bit of white balsamic. And that's just going to add that acidity and just kind of make the whole dish come together. So we'll give it one last toss. See how we have the gorgeous light brown color, everything's wilted and onions have caramelized. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up and give it a taste. And like I said, this would be a gorgeous bed to put on. A nice piece of fish, some chicken on top of. You can even, you know, do some tofu. We'll give it a taste. Let's see how we did. It's pretty hot. Mmm. <laughs> Still got that crunch. Where it's nice and tender and the white balsamic just finished it perfectly. For more recipes like this, I'll log on to ahealthypassion.com or favehealthyrecipes.com. I'll see you next time.